If you're a casual biking family and are on a tight budget, the Bell Cocoon 300 Bicycle Child Carrier is an insane bang for your buck. Often on sale for less than a family of four would spend at Chick-fil-A, it's by far the cheapest rear child bike seat we've seen. Of course, you get what you pay for, but for less than a meal, it gets the job done. Here are five things you need to know to determine if the Bell Cocoon 300 child bike seat is right for your family. Number one, the Bell Cocoon is smaller than other rear child bike seats. The Cocoon is the smallest rear child bike seat we've seen. While most rear seats have maximum weight capacities of 40 pounds for US standards and 48 pounds for Europe, the Cocoon has a 40 pound max no matter where you live. It also has a maximum height of 39 inches, while most rear mounted seats don't have a height limit. As a result, your child will outgrow the Cocoon more quickly than almost every other seat on the market. Our 39 pound three year old is just under the maximum weight limit but she's 40 inches tall, which is an inch taller than the maximum height requirement. Here you can see her in the Bell Cocoon and the Burley Dash Rack mounted seat. The Dash also has a 40 pound weight limit, but no height limit. As you can see, she can fit in the Cocoon, but it's quite snug compared to the Dash. Number two, it may be a bit of a cramped ride. The Cocoon's design has two limitations that create the potential for a cramped ride. The seat itself sits a bit closer to the adult rider than other seats on the market. If your child is small, this probably won't be much of an issue. However, as your child grows to the higher end of the sizing spectrum, the narrow stationary footrests force a child's knees into a high position that makes them more likely to hit the adult rider in front of them. This will depend on your specific bike, including how high you set your saddle and if you have your saddle set closer or farther away from the child behind you. Unfortunately, a great fit is really hard to determine before a child bike seat is actually mounted on your bike. Number three, bike compatibility can be tricky. While most rear child bike seats mount to the seat tube of a bike's frame or to a rear mounted rack, the Bell child bike seat is different. The Cocoon is the only rear child carrier we've tested that mounts to the seat post and the seat stays of your bike. While the seat post mount wasn't an issue for us, we did have difficulty mounting the Cocoon's mounting arms to the seat stay. To secure the black metal mounting arm to each seat stay, the bottom of the arm has a pivoting metal piece that essentially wraps around the seat stay. It is secured with a bolt to connect the two metal pieces. If your seat stay is too round or too thick, it's pretty tricky to get the two sides of the mounting arm to close tight enough to be secured by the bolt. If you have trouble getting the bolt to secure, try removing the plastic frame protectors. Also, while it may look like there's not enough room to safely tighten the bolt, we found that once we were able to just barely thread the end of the nut on the screw, a wrench was able to tighten it much more securely than we anticipated. We have a few mountain bikes, recreational and true mountain bikes, that have seat stays that are too thick. Unfortunately, there's no metric to definitively say ahead of time that your seat stays may be too big. Number four, the harness is a bit of a hassle. This is the only child bike seat we know of that has three buckles. While we appreciate that the Cocoon has a lap belt, all other seats that have one have it incorporated into a single harness system with one central buckle. Strapping squirming toddlers into a child bike seat is often a frustrating task, so a three buckle system with a separate lap belt does make it a bit harder. There are three shoulder strap height settings that should be adjusted as your child grows. Number five, you can't easily remove the seat between rides. For us, the biggest drawback to the Bell Cocoon 300 is that it's not designed to take on and off your bike between rides. Basically, if you get this seat, it will live on your bike until you decide you don't want it there anymore. Almost all child bike carriers have quick release systems that allow you to mount or unmount the seat in under 30 seconds without the use of tools. Not the case with the Bell Cocoon. It attaches via several bolts and is a serious process to attach to your bike. It is not something you want to do more than once unless you really have to. So what's the bottom line? We understand the appeal of the Bell Cocoon 300 for budget-minded families. Just remember to factor in its small size, basic quality and features, awkward harness, and finicky fit mounting system. But when found on sale, it's really hard to be disappointed, even if it doesn't work out.